Hey, it's Tansel. Now, is improving your memory really hard? Is it difficult, right? And the answer to that is yes. And the reason why I say that is it's not the techniques, it's not the skills, it's not the learning of it. It's actually the practice and implementation of memory techniques. Because here's the thing, it's people can learn stuff really quickly, right? You can learn whatever you want really quick. It's whether or not you keep using the skill and keep implementing. Um, that is the question. So for example, right, um, New Year's is coming up and a lot of people have resolutions for New Year. So they go to the gym, sign up, and a few weeks later, they get over it, right? You know the easy way to, say, lose weight or get fit is to eat right, exercise, get into calorie deficit, all of that stuff, right? The knowledge is there. It's easy to know. But the difficulty there lies in for people is keeping this up, right? So that's why training your memory is um, difficult. That's why improving your memory is difficult, not because of the skill, but because of the effort needed. And guess what? Anything worth the effort is worth doing the effort. Things aren't meant to be simple, right? If it was simple, anyone would do it. But the reason for that is to really test yourself, right? And to see, can you actually do it, right? And this is good because like anything, you have to go through a little bit of stress to get the end result. If you're too comfortable, you're going to see the result of that comfort. And generally, it's not that great. Whereas if you're putting yourself into a little bit of discomfort, you're going to see the benefit of that as well. So this is where memory improvement comes in, right? Improvement is not an overnight thing. It's time by time by time, right? And as the time progresses, that's when you improve. And also improvement can be going downhill and then learning from mistakes and then moving up. So it's not a linear progression of going upwards. Sometimes it's down and even further down and it could be for a few weeks, could be for a few months, could even be for a few years, right? If you're thinking long term. So you're going to be willing to pay the price of your goal that you want, right? Think about that. So if you're putting the effort, but you know the end result is going to be X, Y, and Z, then you have to be able to stick with it, right? Don't just focus on the goal. Focus on doing the things needed to achieve the goal. So you have to fall in love with the process, as they say. So if you fall in love with the process, right, knowing that you will eventually get to the goal, regardless of time, that's when things will start to happen. Because, yeah, you, you look at some people and they go, oh, how do they get... Um, you know, this result so quickly. Well, I can guarantee you would never saw them, you know, struggling. You never saw the blood, sweat and tears they probably went through, right? No one knows your own struggles. So if you're fully working towards something, right, you've got a goal, memory improvement, you know, weight loss, fitness, whatever it might be, right? Look at the process. Um, I often work with a lot of students right? And students have a lot of goals, right? I want to get to this particular university. I want to get this particular grade and so on, right? They're nice goals to have, but the real goal is I need to be able to do X amount in a day. I need to be able to put this effort in. I need to be able to do the chores at home. I need to be able to, you know, uh, get up early in the morning. Th those little things, they add up. And if you keep doing them, the results take care of themselves, right? So back to memory improvement, because this channel is about improving your memory, right? Um, it's not so much about the skill. You can learn the techniques fairly quickly, right? I've got so many videos on memory techniques. That's not the thing people come to me for, right? People come to me because they want to continue their progress. They want to continue um, getting successes and get feedback from me as the expert on how can they keep improving. Because once you keep improving, once you keep learning, that's when the real success comes from all these results. So hopefully that's made a bit of sense for you. Um, anything is easy, but everything is not easy. <laughs> hopefully you understand what I mean. So there you go. Um, any questions, comment down below. 
uh, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.